Hello and welcome to another episode of Crystal's Bites. I am Crystal Newman. Today I happen to be at Caramel Cafe and Lounge at Acacia Mall. What I love about Caramel Lounge is number one, you'll never have issues with parking because it is in Acacia Mall. Two, they have a very interesting habesha menu and when it comes to their breakfast menu, there's something quite different. What you won't find in most restaurants around Kampala. So I'm looking forward to meeting Chef William. We're going to go into the kitchen. He's going to show me a few of the dishes so that I can recreate them at home. And of course, I'll let you know all the beautiful things that you can enjoy. Well, welcome to Crystal's Bites. So I'm here with Chef William. Welcome to Crystal's Bites. Uh, thank you so much. How are you? I'm fine. How are you, Crystal? I'm excited. I'm very happy to be in Caramel's Kitchen. I'm so happy to be with you as well. Thank you. Thank oh. you. So we are going to do the breakfast menu. Okay. Tell me, what makes uh, the breakfast menu at Caramel different from other places? Uh, what makes it different? Our breakfast, with a variety of things, items, they like I'm going to present for you the Camel Combo 2 yes. with different items. Yes. So it will be having uh, the beef, chicken, mm -hmm. some salad, like avocados, mm -hmm. some Greek salad, mm -hmm. plus the eggs of any style you feel like. Okay. Everything will be there. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to prepare it with it. Crystal here yeah, right now. Okay. What type of the eggs would you like to put on the breakfast? I think I'll do the scrambled. Scrambled? Yeah, I'll do the scrambled eggs. Of course. Yeah, don't make. Okay. It's okay, no problem. Okay. And scramble. Yeah. Mix it all in. Yeah, you can mix it all in. Think about scrambled eggs. Yeah, it's just more of scrambling the eggs. Do a lot of people, do they like the eggs wet or dry? It depends. But most of them, they like it when they're dry. They're dry eggs, yeah. huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. Keep this going. Do you like it medium or...? I like the medium. I like medium. the wet, yes. There we go. So that's good. You have three strips of beef. So you have, but you have beef, you have chicken, you have potatoes, you have sausages mm. as well. Sausages, yeah, everything. Even the eggs. And the eggs. Yeah. Okay. Every that's breakfast the bread. Food for a king. You can set the bread in, put it on the salad. I think so this is enough for you. Little strip, that's right. So you like the steak medium, right? Yes, I do. No. Oh, those are good. Those room for excess Let oil. Me. No, you're gonna put it in here. Plus, so, how do you place it? You place it on the side? You want to be like that? Oh, okay. Then we press good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna place it there, yeah. So we can dry a little bit of the, the oil. Eggs. Then we're gonna pick up. Our chicken. Our chicken. Okay. The chicken strips are actually ready. Of course, they have to be done properly. The breakfast. The breakfast. Yes. Particularly the combo two. The combo two. Yes. I just had that. What do you like about the combo two? The functionality of it. Mm -hmm. And I love that it's very protein based. Okay. And that for me is very, very critical. Uh -huh. The typical Ugandan breakfast is very wheat. Mm -hmm. You know, mandazi, chapati, it's very starchy. Mm -hmm. But if you get your protein in the morning, mm -hmm. that's what I love about it the most. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Just a Mediterranean salad. Taste, no problem. Thank you. Then I'm gonna put for you that cheese as well, feta cheese. Feta cheese? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have some olives to also yeah. complement. Wow, and this is a finished really? dish? Yeah. No, we with the. This one you're gonna decorate. <laughs> you're gonna put. This goes there. Just a little. Then, then that's all. Ta da! So, this is your caramel, caramel combo, combo two. two. Yes. Okay, alright. Let me And this one off for you. I'm happy with my scrambled eggs. Yes, this will work for me. Let's dive into. tastes so good and all the flavors work together. You have the sweetness from the baked beans, you have the saltiness from the olives. Of course, I love my feta cheese as well. I have to have some of that as well. I think I'll go with that with the chicken. The chicken. That's the potatoes. This is where the fire is. It's nice and hot. The tower of meat. I went with my mainstream filet mignon and it was, it was, to begin with, huge. It was huge. Huge is good. Huge, huge is always good. a big plus. Mm -hmm. Succulent. Mm -hmm. And I like the fact that um, 
for for the price attached to it mm -hmm. you're not breaking the bank i looked at it and i was like okay this is like eating for a king you know they say have breakfast like a king yeah. i'm like you this should covers it you should yeah. actually yes eat like a king at breakfast and like a pauper at, at supper yes exactly. yeah most important meal of the day and all that. So the munchies are fully underway. We've done our first caramel combo too, breakfast uh, dish. And now we're going to do the second one, which is something that you won't find ordinarily in restaurants. So yeah. tell me about it. It's, uh, it. We use the beans. Okay. Yeah, we use the beans. Mm -hmm. We put it in a pan, we make the paste. We add in some garlic, some cumin powder, some pepper, some garlic, and some salt just a bit, and some olive oil. Mm -hmm. Then we serve it with some fresh salad. Mm -hmm. The chopped, the chopped green pepper, mm -hmm. onion, tomatoes, and the boiled egg when it's chopped. Mm -hmm. Then we okay. serve it with pita bread. Okay. Yeah. So this is a good option for someone who's vegetarian. Yes. Okay. Okay. Because first we had meat and everything. We so had the meat and the chicken, and now we're going to something different. Yes. Okay. Okay. Bring it a it's been a lovely experience so far. From the time I walked in, mm -hmm. the waitress guiding me everywhere, and I'm feeling very comfortable. Mm -hmm. Though the air is not stuffy, I'm just feeling very comfortable. I'm enjoying the juice. Yeah, so you want it to be nice and thick, huh? Yeah. Okay. Some more olive oil, eh? Okay. There we go. It becomes even shinier. Yeah. Already? Yeah, it's ready. But you've not tasted it. You taste it before you serve. I have to taste before I serve? Yeah. Okay. Because you need to taste the salt, everything. <laughs> Lessons, yeah. Oh. Lessons, I'm going to use a bit of... Woo! Okay. It's very hot. It is hot. <laughs> Let me get you a glass of water. Oh, no, no, don't worry. I'm fine. You're really, fine. I'm fine. Oh, okay. I'm just touching up. The combination of flavors. Yeah. Work very well together. It's fine. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I like this. Tell me, what is this? What are you having? Um, uh, honestly, it's the chef special. Okay. And you know, I'm 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 one of those guys who works in the restaurant, and I just tell them, you know what? Give me the best meal you have. Okay. The best. So you don't tasty. look at the menu normally? The best looking. I do look at it, but uh, I want I want something spontaneous. I want something to just hit me and I'm like, oh, I didn't even know this was coming. But I actually ordered for it. Yeah, it, It's more exciting than, I mean, I'd just rather go somewhere else and order for something I know. Okay. I, yeah, exactly. So you like it when the chef does something special for you? Yeah. You have some chili on this. Do you like yeah, chili? I love chili. You love chili? I love chili. And it's quite interesting. It's like you've got pita bread or... And then you know, it's uh, it's one it's of those like it's one of those pizzas that went to international school and uh, the chili I added just yeah, that tastes just there. enough. And the egg? And the egg I've already had. I had some. You've already had the egg. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, that's fine. Okay, well, thank you so much, Chef William. This is a pleasure. I really enjoyed this. I've learned some new things. Okay. And um, yeah, I'll be coming back for this. Okay. After all the hot, sweaty work in the kitchen, we need to appreciate our chefs a whole lot more. And then I get to enjoy the spoils. So, look at this. I've had such a good time preparing some of the breakfast menu items at Caramel Cafe and Lounge. Make sure you join me for the next episode of Crystal's Bites. And of course, remember, if you see something you like, you can probably order it off Jamia Food, okay? So yeah, till next time, bye-bye. <laughs>